Humans are an incredibly complicated species. With the busy day-to-day -day of modern life, most of us rarely stop to ponder what life came before us. The field of evolutionary biology is incredibly complex, and with human ancestry being filled with intricate details, it's no surprise that the research we do manage to uncover often gets proved wrong time and time again. There will always be more to figure out and always be a small gap to fill. The timeline of our species and figuring out exactly where we came from is an ongoing search. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three somewhat recent discoveries regarding human ancestry. Artificial intelligence has found an unknown ghost's ancestor. Figuring out the complex evolutionary past of our species is a momentous undertaking, with new discoveries and findings coming along every so often that derail our understanding and force us to reconsider what we thought we knew. A study initially conducted back in the February of 2019 uncovered a possible hybrid ancestor of modern humans that left scientists somewhat stumped. We don't have information on who she was exactly, but she has certainly helped drive our scientific understanding forward significantly in the past few years. Remains of a teenaged girl, who lived more than 50,000 years ago, has a remarkable uniqueness to her. These differences led scientists to interpret that she is some form of hybrid ancestor living as part of our prehistory as humans. Despite this girl being found as part of a 2019 study, it was not until late 2021 that researchers managed to find a greater number of remains aligning with this girl. We have only recently found more hybrid ancestors like her. The 2019 study aimed to conduct an analysis on the confusing and convoluted topic of our human prehistory. The team used artificial intelligence to identify ancestor species we were yet to discover or identify that we believe modern humans had come into contact with all those centuries ago. Evolutionary biologist Jean Bertrand Petit from the Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Spain explained that 80,000 years ago, the out of Africa occurred. This was when part of the human population, which did already host modern humans, moved out of Africa and instead migrated to other continents. This travel and separation facilitated the rise and growth of the current populations as we know them today. During the out of Africa, the modern humans began to move towards Eurasia and would procreate with the ancient and extinct hominids they encountered. Prior to this research, we believed these partners to be Neanderthals and Denisovans, with us only finding out about Denisovans in 2010. Now, however, there seems to be evidence of another prehistoric mating partner seemingly kept hidden within the DNA of those within Europe and Asia. The study was able to utilize deep learning algorithms, a program that means an intricate and large amount of data covering the ancient and modern human genetic code can be sorted through. It was the statistical technique known as the Bayesian inference that revealed the evidence of this third elusive influence, what has been called the third introgression. This third introgression is what has been left behind of the so-called ghost archaic population we now know modern humans mated with on their way out of Africa. In their paper, the researchers wrote, this population is either related to the Neanderthal Denisova clade or diverged early from the Denisova lineage. They did later also suggest the possibility of this third population being the result of mating between the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. It has been noted, however, that even this explanation leaves some abnormalities unaccounted for. The use of artificial intelligence in this field is a new, groundbreaking technique in uncovering human ancestry. It's incredible to think how the most modern advancements can reveal such ancient history. We do need to conduct further research before any definitive conclusions can be made, though even without considering the results and theories, the role of this technology remains revolutionary. Scientists find 13,000-year-old hunter-gatherer bone in Georgian cave. While we have just discussed the possibility of a third line of ancestry, another study, first published in 2015, has claimed to have found what could indicate a new fourth strand of ancestry. This study saw zoologists 
use a human right temporal bone found in a cave in West Georgia to sequence ancient genomes. The bone was more than 13,000 years old, and the researchers believe that they could have identified a new strand of ancestry specific to Europeans from their prehistoric hunter-gatherer ancestors in pre-Ice Age Africa. 25,000 years ago, in our last glacial maximum age, ice sheets stretched the furthest we know for them to have. In this time, a Caucasus population began to settle in the increasingly isolated space on the border of southern Russia. The population had settled within the mountain range, meaning their interaction with other groups was limited, reserved only for a period of thawing. This prolonged isolation and therefore delayed mixing with other groups is what created the genetic makeup of the Yamnaya culture who moved into Western Europe 5,000 years ago. Dr. Andrea Manica, from the Department of Zoology at the University of Cambridge said, The question of where the Yamnaya come from has been something of a mystery up to now. The researcher continued, explaining that we knew the Yamnaya had a large part of their genetic history that was yet to be placed, and it seems that this bone has revealed an unknown piece of ancient lineage dating back to the last Ice Age. It's now thought that the Yamnaya genetic makeup is a mix, combining the Eastern European hunter-gatherers and a small population from the Caucasus hunter-gatherers who lived throughout a large portion of the last Ice Age in isolation. Now, the culture's ancestral strand, known to specialize in animal herding and metallurgy, is present in most modern-day European populations. Not only has this revealed a new strand of European DNA, but further genome sequencing has revealed that a similar population may have migrated as far as South Asia, introducing this supposed fourth strand to another continent too. Epi Jones, the first author of the paper based at Trinity College, said, India is a complete mix of Asian and European genetic components. She continued, explaining that the Caucasus hunter-gatherer ancestry is the best match that has been found for the European genes that have been found to make up Asian, especially Indian, populations. Another separate 10,000-year-old burial, also found in western Georgia, also helped to inform this research and answer some of these questions. Other researchers on this project have commented that this explanation of a prolonged period of isolation followed by a period of expansion makes geographical sense and provides a long-awaited explanation for the spread of these European genetic components found in modern-day humans. There is, once again, plenty more research that is required before we can make these conclusions with confidence, and there is a possibility that none of these findings will become definitive within our lifetimes. Though, as we improve our ability to sequence genomes and understand genetic composition, the educated guesses, theories and hypotheses can continue to develop with more and more accuracy. Twenty-five thousand year old human genome recovered from cave soil Another bioarchaeological study has made room to discover more about the human past. A team of researchers from across the globe managed to find genome samples of a human, a wolf and a bison in a 2021 study. The genomes came from a singular sediment sample dating back from before the Ice Age and were found, much like the aforementioned fourth strand of human ancestry, in the Caucasus Caves in western Georgia. To be specific, this sediment sample was found in the Satserblia cave site. Before this study, Bioarchaeological studies have found that layers of sediment from caves, for example, are capable of preserving ancient DNA for thousands of years. This knowledge is immensely valuable, as we do not always have skeletal remains available for analysis, though it is a tool that can be hard to utilize. This is because sometimes the low number of sequences that can be retrieved places a heavy constraint upon the analysis limiting the information we can find only to identification and preventing us finding further ancestral or phylogenetic information. In this research study, published in Current Biology and led by Ron Penhassi and Per Gellibert from the University of Vienna, the team performed sequencing on six sedimentary samples, searching for mammalian DNA. It was from this singular Pleistocene soil sample which radiocarbon dating estimates to be from between 22,200 BC and 23,500 BC, that a successful human environmental genome was found. 
The analysis has revealed that the genome is from a female or even several females, and the lineage shows a now extinct line split from western hunter-gatherer populations. This sample, along with the other mammal samples that were uncovered, will undergo further analysis before more conclusions are drawn. But this study serves as an example of how detailed the information we can uncover can be, even without any skeletal remains. In a research area as fascinating but complex as the human evolutionary path, there is an unending number of possibilities, from facts to uncover to an understanding to develop. We can hope to gradually increase our knowledge of the human historical timeline, and as we gain more advanced technology, knowledge and resources, it becomes possible to discover more with each passing year. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.